sugar. recognizable ingredient in the kitchen. It makes things taste great, but did you know that there are dozens of different kinds of sugar? Today, we're gonna to be working with my personal favorite kind of sugar, sanding sugar, and more specifically, our brand new babies at Spice Walla, our sugar and spice collection. These are flavored sugars that are going to really up your game in the kitchen. We have cranberry orange, lavender lemon, and cardamom sugar. They're equally flavorful as they are beautiful and they'll make anything that you put them on sparkle. We'll show you several easy ways to use these and you'll be making things that you can have on hand for any occasion. Let's get started. So these blends feature sanding sugar, which is different than granulated sugar that you normally bake and cook with. It's actually a bigger granule, whereas granulated sugar is a finer grind. And this is also considered a finishing sugar. It's a little shinier, and this is used to put on top of cookies or breads or scones, and it has that texture when you bite into it. It has a little bit of crunchiness on top. So the first sugar we're using today is our lemon lavender sugar. This has whole lavender flowers and lemon juice powder, so it's really aromatic and floral and delicate. We'll be making a simple syrup and an infused whipped cream, and I'll give you some ideas on how to use those too, so stay tuned for that. Wait, before we get started, hit that like and subscribe button to help us keep creating these videos for you guys. To make a simple syrup with this super easy, you're gonna add equal parts granulated sugar and water. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and then we'll add our sanding sugar after that. Okay, so at this point, the sugar has melted. It looks syrupy. So we're gonna add our lavender lemon sugar. The reason we're adding this now is because I didn't want the lavender to burn in there. So we're gonna add a couple tablespoons. I've turned off the heat and then we're just gonna stir this in. So once this is bottled up, you can just leave it on your counter. It'll stay good for a long time because sugar is a preservative. This is something that you can just incorporate into baking, into your iced tea or coffee, anything that you wanna sweeten with a little bit of that lemon lavender flavor. And you can also strain this before you use it if you want, but I think it looks really pretty with the, with the flowers in there. So it's up to you. Lavender lamb and sugar. It's new, get into it. All right, now we're gonna make an infused cream with our lavender lemon sugar. So there's two ways to infuse spices or flavors into cream. You can do a hot infusion where you bring the cream up to a boil and then add your spices or your flavors and then cool it, or you can do a cold infusion. So for a delicate flavor like lavender and lemon, I'm just gonna do a cold infusion here. So I have one and a half cups of cold heavy cream. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of our lavender lemon sugar. Stir that together. Pour this into a mason jar or any jar that you want to contain this in. This you can store in your fridge. Probably the least amount of time you wanna go is eight to 12 hours. You can put this into your coffee in the morning or your tea. You can incorporate this into baking recipes that call for heavy cream. You can make a whipped cream out of it to put on top of berries or a piece of pie. There's really endless uses for this. Now I'm gonna show you a couple easy ways to use our cranberry orange sugar. This is a really great flavor combination. It has cranberry and orange juice powder in it. So I'm gonna show you how to use this in some macerated berries and also create a fun non-alcoholic drink. I'm gonna make a quick little non-alcoholic spritzer here, but feel free to add booze if that's your vibe. So in order to do this, I'm gonna take a piece of cut fruit. In this instance, we have a strawberry. and I'm just gonna go around the outside of this with the strawberry. We're gonna dip this whole thing in a bowl of the sugar. Wow! Add some ice, some fruit juice. I'm using watermelon juice, some chopped basil, and some sparkling water. Add our little garnish. Cheers! All right, so I have in this bowl some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. So we're gonna do macerated berries, which that just means sugar is added to them to draw out the liquids and it 
breaks them down and creates kind of this syrupy berry concoction that is so delicious. So delicious. So first we're gonna actually use some granulated sugar with this as well. Um, this is just gonna help break down the fruit a little bit and then we'll add our cranberry orange sugar to add that flavor. So just cover your berries really well with the sugar and then add some of your cranberry orange sugar as well. Just make sure everything is well coated. So after a few hours, you'll see that the sugar breaks down the fruit so it's a lot softer and creates this really amazing kind of syrupy liquid at the bottom. This is a really great thing to put on top of pancakes, waffles, vanilla ice cream. It just creates this perfect syrupy condiment that you can keep and use throughout the week. It would probably stay for about a week in your fridge. So this is just a really simple way to use our sugars to just kind of amp up that berry flavor in there. All right, next up is our cardamom sugar. Very straightforward. It's ground cardamom powder and our sanding sugar. So this is just a really, really versatile sugar. We're gonna be using this to infuse into some coconut oil and also just as a topper for sweet potato fries. All right, so we're gonna infuse this cardamom sugar in some coconut oil. Infusing spices into cooking oils is always a great way to incorporate flavors in a different way and something that you can make ahead and just have on hand. So we'll put about a cup of coconut oil in a pan and then we'll just slowly melt this. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat off and we're going to add, I'll just kind of eyeball this, maybe like one to one and a half tablespoons of the cardamom sugar. The reason I don't add this early on is because I don't want the cardamom to burn. So we're just gonna add this to the warm melted coconut oil. Okay, now that this is cooled, I'm gonna pour it into a jar to store it. You can see the color that it takes on from the cardamom. You can use this immediately if you want, um, or you can keep it next to your stove to use if you wanna add some cardamom flavor while you're sauteing veggies or some onions, just to add a little bit of that like kind of minty menthol-y flavor that cardamom gives off. Uh, you can also use this to cook stovetop popcorn, or you can even sprinkle a little bit of the sugar on top after you cook your microwave popcorn. There's so many different uses for this specific coconut oil, anything you normally use it for that you wanna just give a little kick. I also just want you all to know that these are really good on their own. You don't have to incorporate them into other things. You can just use them as a finishing sugar to spread on top of baked goods. But one of my favorite flavors with cardamom specifically is sweet potatoes. So I have some freshly made sweet potato fries and we're just gonna go in and sprinkle this right on top. So those are some fun ways that you can use our new sugar blends. Be sure to check those out on our website. I hope this inspired you and gave you some creative ideas to use these at home. Let us know in the comments what you use these for or some inspiration that you got. And also let us know what other content you wanna see on this channel. We'd love to hear what you guys wanna watch. So like and subscribe, see you next time, and scram. <laughs>